better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. This is a, a pithy saying that uh, is variously ascribed to different uh, characters, and, and I think it, it speaks to us in, in a way about uh, what, it, what it means to, you know, to be wise. It's remarkable how wise people think you are when it seems like you are listening to them or concurring with at least some of their points. And it's when we jump into a conversation without really knowing what's going on, it's when we insert our opinion in places where it's clearly not wanted, that, that we are regarded as fools. And the, the big game, you know, as far as being a Christian, isn't to try to win this or that point. It, it's to uh, be able to be thought of as someone that can be relied upon, someone who can be uh, trusted. And, and if we have that trust and we can build upon that trust, it's so much better than if we are able to get our point across on this or that little issue. Uh, the Proverbs, I think, is actually the origin of this uh, quote, which is variously found. And, and the way it comes across in Proverbs isn't as humorous, but it says, Even fools who keep silent are considered wise. When they close their lips, they are deemed intelligent. And so I just hope that, that we as Christians will think twice before we speak, particularly on uh, uh, divisive issues, and, and I, I pray that we would be able to uh, to listen and engage people and, and speak back the words that we're hearing from them so that we can understand before we speak.